Welcome back everyone to another beer review. Uh, today we're heading off to North Wales, or Mole to be more precise, which is uh, quite local to me. And we're off to Polly's Brew. And I have a can of their Every Piece Matters India Pale Ale, coming in at 6.7% ABV. Uh, got this from a local bottle shop, you can see £4.55, yes. Not cheap, I know that all, all these kind of craft beers and the bottle shop stuff all a little bit dearer, but extremely good beers. So, uh, personally, I prefer something a little bit more upmarket generally now. Sounds like a bit of a snob, but it's not. I just, just like to taste things, just like some better things in life now and then. So, uh, yeah. So, I'll shut up because I'm waffling and uh, we'll get on with the review. Can wrap. Quite cool. I like that typical Polly's emblem on there. So, uh, 440 mil can by the way so let's get it into uh, a glass see what we get I'm expecting this to be major hoppy major fruity you I'm getting that already smell that already so in a glass oh smell that it's hazy as hell you can't see that Chicken stock, as some people like to say. Uh, nice sort of hazy orange colour there. It's a finger of spacious white head, which seems to be disappearing a bit. But uh, looks good, looks good. So uh, let's get a nose on it. Juicy, oh yeah. Grapefruit. Quite grapefruit forward there. Bit of pine in there. Just a, just a, a juicy drink. I'm fully expecting this to be big grapefruit in there. Just while I'm here. Uh, the hops are citra and mosaic. And the malts are extra pale oats and wheat. So uh, we've done all the, the normal stuff. So uh, let's dive in. Cheers. Ooh, yeah, yeah. That's very tasty. Straight away, this reminded me of uh, Bad Company. Uh, the pale ale I done of theirs, uh, for the life of me, off tempo pale ale. I think it was, yeah. Reminds me exactly like that. There's no sort of carbonation in the glass, which I didn't point out. When you drink it, Bitterness straight away in your mouth. Juicy bitterness. Uh, not not the strongest sort of bitterness I've had in a in a beer by no means, but it's also not the weak, not the you know the softest of bitterness. There's there's a lot of bit, quite a bit of bitterness in there. <laughs> now I got that out, <laughs> got round to that. Quite a bit of bitterness. You get the carbonation in your mouth as you as you're drinking it. Very much grapefruit forward. You're getting that grapefruit bitterness in there, but it's not so much that it's off-putting. I found with a uh, high wire, uh, I found that a little bit, a little bit too grapefruit bitter, and the body was quite thin on it. Certainly compared to this, anyway. Nice body to the beer. Hold it in your mouth. It's got quite a. Quite a thick body to it, I would say. Quite heavy. Decent bitterness on it, as I've said four or five times already. I'm almost getting... You get the grapefruit in there, but I'd say I'd almost get in... Almost getting like a, a Fanta feel to the drink. Uh, if if you're having a can of Fanta, the orange doesn't. It feels like you know the taste f doesn't feel fake. It feels you know proper. Uh, 
I'm getting sort of like a citrus, citrusy orange sort of taste in there. It's uh, it's a beautiful IPA. It really is. Uh, like I said, pineapple and sort of orange sort of tango sort of flavour in there. Uh, Six point seven percent. No way. Uh, yes, it's a little bit stronger than probably a lot of beers you'll have, but it's so juicy that it, ju it just hides the alcohol in there. There's no burn or, or, or warmth inside. It's a, it's a very easy drinking IPA. Uh, probably too easy. Uh, it's, I would say, it's very close to sessionable, but at six point seven percent, it it probably isn't really. Uh, excuse me. Like I say, carbonation in the mouth, so there obviously is a bit of bit of gas in there, as I've just let you all have. Uh, but it's a cracking IPA. That's really nice, and I think the sort of citrusy orange tango, as I as I re referred to it adds to it it uh, gives it that little bit something different got a lovely body to the beer creamy mouthfeel a really good beer and well worth the money so there you go uh, that's Polly's every piece matters would I get it again yes I would buy it again uh, I probably won't just because there's there's always that many new beers that are coming out that I'll probably never get around to drinking it again but an excellent beer if you've had it before uh, feel free to comment comment anyway this was from my local bottle shop as i said four pound 55 uh, so yeah feel free to pick yourself one up i don't think you'll be disappointed if you're an ipa fan and uh if you're having a beer enjoy definitely going to be enjoying this uh thank you all for subscribing and watching as i always say and i'll see you again on another beer review very soon cheers